Kyrie Irving, we are very honored by your presence. Uh, what, what, does, what does it mean to you? You're thousands of miles from home. What does it mean to you, NBA superstar, to be part of an initiative like this? Well, I, I, can't even, I can't even really conjure your words to, to tell you the amount of impact that we're having on these kids, and, and especially around the community. This is my fourth time being in Soweto this week, and you know, being around here and just seeing how the community's built and how the people are and how they interact with one another. It starts with our future, and that's started here. Basketball Without Borders, building this fabulous court for the kids. Okay, Kyrie Irving, to be very honest with you, um, I've talked to a lot of kids, I've talked to people in camp. When they see you in your presence and see what you've achieved, they actually think it's impossible. When you started out as a youngster, did you ever see where you are as being far-fetched or something that will yeah. probably never happen? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, that, that's what we all strive for. You know, we all strive for greatness and, you know, we set goals so high for ourselves that we feel that we can accomplish. And that comes from self-driven motivation and, you know, per uh, perseverance and, you know, great support system with my dad. You know, my dad, single father, raised me and my sister and he instilled great principles that apply to my life. And, you know, it, it just doesn't only apply on the court. You know, it applies to my life. And, you know, I, when people see me, you know, I'm a normal person just like everybody else. But, you know, when it comes to my sport and my craft, I take it very serious. And, you know, I want to be great. And, you know, I just want to give as much advice or as help to kids that are in my, that were in my position. You know, I'm only 21 years old. I was in high school almost three, uh, only three years ago. So, you know, I feel like I can definitely connect with them as much as possible. Uh, thank you for that. Finally, before we let you go, Kyrie Irving, a word of encouragement um, for, you know, athletes in, in their dark times where they feel that, you know, the world's caving in and they just can't reach it. What would you say to them? Well, you know, God never throws anything at us that we can't handle. And I, and I truly believe that. You know, challenges are gonna have to be overcome. We all are facing challenges. We all live different lives. We all have different destinies. You just have to find your niche and, and hold on to it and have a passion about it. You know, commit yourself to being something that you never dreamed of dreamed of having or dreamed of being. You know, and that, that's always what my dad told me. You know, just have that hunger to always be great and to do something special. And, you know, always have humility and never forget where you came from. Very well said. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kyrie.